Hello to the students. Good afternoon once again. And this is again Teacher Anna, your learning partner. So, my youm, so it looks like we have learned lesson number 12 in the previous week that is about reaction and relevance, critical theory, post colonialism, and feminist theory. Now, let's go to lesson number 13. So, lesson number 13 talks about interacting with our environment. So, we have the social environment system, the human ecology, and social medicine. So, let's go. Let's learn lesson number 13. So, in this lesson, guys, or at the end of the lesson, you are expected to first use this understanding of society's multi-dimensional character in analyzing social environmental issues and develop a critical perspective in understanding complex uh, social environmental problems such as disasters using an interdisciplinary approach. So let's try to know more about this one, guys. It looks like here in our lesson, we are going to analyze the social environmental issues. So as we, as we are facing now, because of the global warming, we have a lot of disasters like earthquake, uh, the uh, typhoons, and a lot more. So let's try to use a critical perspective in understanding this uh, complex social environmental problems and then we are also going to use interdisciplinary approach now let's have the next one so the first one guys is the social environmental system so ano pala ang social environmental system so ito yung perspective natin that seeks to understand and explain the dynamic and complex interaction of the natural environment so ito yung natural environment natin or the place we are where we are uh, residing and then we have the uh, what we call the demogra demographic so natural environment with the demographic so meaning so, so kung unsa ang kanang ato, ano na to, uh, number of people residing in that certain place the economic, the political, the cultural, behavioral, legal, and development realities of society. So, ito sila lahat, guys, ay magkaugnay. So, di ba sa kanta palang daan, ang lahat ng bagay ay magkaugnay. So, dito sa socio-environmental systems, it is really showing that everything and uh, <clears throat> every natural uh, environment, the demographic, the economic, the political, the cultural, the behavioral, the legal and development realities of society ay magkaugnay. So, just here in our example, so when you look at the picture, guys, you will see the land use, uh, land or resource use or the land management. So... <clears throat> It means, guys, that uh, here we are going to think what are we going to use, okay? So, here we are going to use the land management. So, we have the environmental portion and the social portion. So, when we say here the environmental portion, so we have the natural hazards. So, yung mga uh, Phenomena na binibigay sa atin ng natural hazards, like for example, typhoons, tsunamis, earthquakes, so yun yung mga natural hazards natin and a lot more. We also have the invasive species, the animal behavior. So, uh, dili man ta gusto nga na ay mga, ano no, mga gagmay nga insects, ato ang panimalay. So, those animal behavior guys would really affect our Ano the natural environment and then the invasive species so meaning because there are a lot of uh, species that living in that certain place dapat natin siyang alagaan o dili na siya mahimong kanang ano uh, mahimutang destroyer sa ilahang environment but we are also uh, somewhat the protector dapat kita ang protector 
ana nga environment. So always remember guys to always protect our environment. If you can plant a lot of trees then that's good. If you can help the community uh, to develop more so that's uh, that's more important or that's nice guys. Now let's go to the risk perception or the ecosystem or the what we call the risk perception and then the ecosystem services. So we also have the risk perception guys. So meaning guys, pwede po tam na atay contribution sa possibility of loss. Like for example, loss of environment, loss of uh, the lives of different species or loss of the lives of animals. So that's why guys, nga, let us all protect all this uh, natural environment that uh, that is here in our uh, place or even in our society. So, dapat nato siyang protektahan. And then, guys, for the social, we have the trending topics, we have the social networks, the human movement. So, we can utilize all of these uh, social guys through ano, kanang making this a platform to recognize and to uh, kanang imuha silang iinganyo ang uban nga tao and uban nga, uban nga mga uh, bodies to help the environmental ano, environmental change and even the, to protect the environment the uh, species in it and the animals in it okay so Kasi nakaka-apekto tayo sa kanila. So, I hope that uh, we will also plan na kanisya nga uh, effect, kanisya nga epekto, makatabang ni sa ilaha, not to destroy them. Okay? So, let's protect the Mother Earth. Now, let's go to the next one. <clears throat> so, let's try to know about the meaning, the definition, and explanation of the social environment. So, when we say social environment, it involves the social context. It also involves the socio-cultural context or milieu refers to the immediate physical and social setting. So, naanid siya dari. Mo ang ato ang ginapuyan, mo na siya ang ato ang social environment. Ang physical nga situation sa ato ang panimalay, mo na siya ang social environment na to. And then the social setting in which people live or in which something happens. Ang ato ang mga silingan, apil na sa siya sa ato ang social environment. So, the mountains, the rivers, uh, or any environmental nga doon sa imuha, uh, forest, those are part of our social environment. So, it includes also, guys, the culture that the individual was educated or lives in. So, ito ang kultura po, apil na siya sa ito ang social environment. And then, the people and institutions with whom we interact or the in they interact. So, ang institutions, the schools, the hospitals, or NGOs, any other institutions that we interact, the PROC chairman, the uh, PROC uh, government, or politics, even the barangay government and politics, they are all part of our social environment. Now, um, they often tend to trust and help one another. So, we also help one another, we trust one another, and then to congregate in social groups. So, they will often think in similar styles and patterns even when their conclusion differs. So, kasagaran po sa tuang society, we think similar styles and patterns. So, nagit yung mga similarities but also we also have uh, differences and then we can also offer different conclusions. Now, let's go to the next one. So, let's try to know more about the human ecology approach. So, what's the human ecology, ma'am? So, from the word human ecology, guys, this is a study of the relationship between humans and their natural, social, and built environment. So, ginastadihan ani ang relasyon sa humans sa natural, the social, and the built environments. That's why there is also a certain conclusion nga ang 
Ang humans daw, kung naghanda daw kaayo ang tao, mao ni siya ang makaguba sa to ang natural environment, sa to ang social environment, and the built environments. Kasi, nandiyan siya yung portion nga dili na Uh, dili na kaya sa to ang environment nga daghan kaayo ang mag-consume or daghan kaayo ang tao. Now, for the human ecology approach, guys, this one investigates. Kung si human ecology nag-study, si human ecology approach investigates changes in the biophysical and socio-economic spheres and their interaction. So, kung sa man ang mga Uh, nag-change gikan sa biophysical so katong mga butang nga makita nato sa environment so hinay-hinay nakalbo ang forest hinay-hinay na convert ang basakan or ang mga agricultural land into a residential land and then how can it also affect our socio-economic so na ay time nga ang ato ang socio-economic progress is nagadevelop, nagadevelop, nagataas. But there are also times, especially in the pandemic, especially in uh, different crises like typhoon and disasters, nagahinay-hinay po siya nga, nagalusaw or nagawala. The socio-economic sphere nato is going down. So, nga ni siya. So, this is the human ecology approach. We are going to investigate why. And then, Uh, their interaction. So, unsa man ang interaction ani, it, it comes to the biophysical to the socio-economic sphere. So, mao na siya ato investigahan din eh, sa human ecology approach. So, as an approach, human ecology requires interdisciplinary skills that covers various fields such as environmental science, so sadihan na to ang environment, the demography, so number of tao, statistics, and then the sociology, the sociology, the geograph, the geography, public policy, public health and development studies among others. So human ecology approach daghan kay siya og branch and daghan kay siya og maigo niya nga interdisciplinary skills. So dapat haud ka sa environmental science, haud ka sa demography, sa sociology, geography, public policy, public health and development studies. So, so sa pag research ni mo sa daghan kay nga problema ana nga society, so you need also to come up with development studies kung sa to mga butang nga pwede makalambo sa to ang ekonomiya o sa to ang society. So you are also or all of us can be an agent of change or a good change. Now, human ecology theory, guys, concentrates on the interaction and interdependence of humans as biological and social entities. So, naga depende daw ta, naga interdepend sa uh, laing mga butang. Like, for example, in our society, in our environment, o sa to ang mga co-human being. And the human ecology theory is a way of looking at the interactions of humans with their environment. So we are also, or this study also, is looking at the interactions, okay, interactions of humans and their environments. And considering this relationship as a system. So dapat nagin siya system. So always remember, guys, For us, or in a society, to grow more and to develop more, so you need to study it so that we will know the relationship is is our environment versus the humans is uh, not in a very good relationship. So, unsa ka ilang interaction? So, are we killing the environment or are we sustaining the environment? So, we need to do some actions regarding ana. Now, we also have the envir environments, guys, do not determine human behavior. So, ang kaano lang anak, kaya ang human, madetermine na to ang uh, environmental behavior. Pero sa environment, because uh, their life is depending on air, water, so ang uh, living thing, ang mga plants and animals, but they can't or they doesn't have brain to determine human behavior. So that's why, but post limitations and constraints, ang butang lang sila limitations and constraints, as well as possibilities and opportunities for families. So kanitanan, the environment, the plants, the animals, they give us possibilities and opportunities to every family. 
And then decision making is the central control process in families that directs action for attaining individual and family goals. So always remember guys, so if we uh, protect our environment, so it can also help us in a lot of ways. Pwede siya nga <coughs> mo improve or mulago ang atong ekonomiya, mulago ang atong pamilya if we are protecting the environment. Now, let's go to the social medicine. So, social medicine, guys, can be defined as the study of man as a social being in his total environment. So, saon sa social being nga makatabang sa environment. And then, tungod po daw sa social being, uh, naging uh, complete ang environment. So, it also stands on two pillars, guys, which is the medicine and the so the sociology. So, the term social medicine, guys, was coined by Jules Guerin of France in 1848 who studied relation between social problems and general health. So, kasi si social being daw, there are some times or there are some causes of the social being nga nakahatag siya o social problems. And then, si social being po, uh, <clears throat> naka, ano po siya, uh, because of the general health of the social being, dagan po kayo o mga environment ang na guba. Like for example, when you are studying about the diseases or even this pandemic crisis, so you are going to study differentiated plan nga ano, makatabang man siya sa pagpuksa ani nga mga uh, diseases or viruses. So, in that way, put guys, we are destroying also our environment kasi dili lamang guna gamay atong kwaon. Like for example, the uh, makahiya leaves, dili lang man gamay kay nga makahiya leaves ang imong gamiton ana sa imong experiment. So you need to use a lot of it. So that's why maybe if uh, you just get it in a farm, so kinanglan jud mo daghan or there are also tendencies nga mas ano mas dako pa yung consumption kaysa sa growth ana nga certain uh, environmental products. So, that's why guys, ang human daw is uh, na siya ka ng ano, ka, na siya nahimo nga distraction sa environment. So, that's why, so we need to control this distraction. We need to help the environment to grow first before we can use. Murang nang guna siya sa savings nga save before you uh, spend kasi kapag naubos na siya wala na jud kay laing kuan that is also in the environment so you need to grow it first grow 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 and then you need also to determine the certain percentage na pwede lang nimo magamit uh, and then kada pud siya nga certain percentage dapat na pud nimo na siya i dungagan or imuhan na pud siyang tamnan if it is trees so, ang kana lang ang problema, no? Because there are a lot of kanang illegal loggers nga wala sila kabaloon sa kaimportante nga to ang environment. So, they doesn't know nga kung kana day siya, uh, kung kana ilahang kwaon, pila kabuok ang, uh, ano, pila kabuok dira ang dapat ni mo itanom na po ubalik. So, that's why in, in different states or in different uh country, nagid sila yung mga sildado nga mga tao nga po. Ang ilalang trabaho is magtanom o kahoy. And then they also determine kung kana siya or ilang ginabutangan o kanang mga mark ang mga kahoy nga pwede na nila anuhon gabason or pwede na nila i, ano, i-utilize or gamiton. Pero they need also to determine asa dito itong mga kahoy nga dapat protektahan kasi Dili pa dapat sila hilabtan. So, inana siya. <clears throat> I hope also our government will also see that. So, because uh, if that is the problem or if we are killing the environment, then the environment will also kill us. Kasi, kinanglan mago na na siya. Kung maubos na siya, wala na yung tilaing kuwaan. So, that's why... Uh, we are also the medicine for our environment, but we can also kill the environment itself. So, it is the study of the manner, guys, in which disease may result from or cause or accentuate social problems. So, ang kanin mga diseases, just like the pandemic, 
it causes social problems and how public health efforts may contribute to their solution. So, ang mga public health efforts, unsa nila para maka-contribute to become the solution of that certain problem. So, the social, the cultural, the psychological, and behavioral factors, guys, are important variables. So, mauna siya ang mga variables in social medicine. Uh, and then, in the etiology, prevalence, and distribution of diseases, the way the people live, their habits, uh, ato ang mga kinaiyahan, ato ang mga habit na to, ato ang mga beliefs, ato ang values and customs, are significant determinants of individual and collective health. So, uh, we can also uh, gain a lot of diseases, labi na kung ka ng damakaita, bisa asalan tamang labay o mga basura, and we are killing the environment. So, we can make that diseases nga gikan lang gihapon sa ato ang kapabayaan and then if you do your best or if we do our best to protect the environment and even protect ourselves and we we will know a better way how to live with the environment a better way of a good or a good habits a better beliefs a better values and customs in that way that Determinants will collectively help our environment and even our health. Okay, so I hope you learn a lot from our lesson today, guys. So today we learn about the social medicine, the human ecology approach, approach the social environment, and the social environmental systems. So please review your lesson so you can read your modules from. Uh, pages 20 to 21 and you can also read your book uh, Ponsaran JN and Jason RRB 2018 The Disciplines and Ideas in Social Sciences for Senior High School from pages 129 to 134 So thank you so much for listening in this class I hope you learned a lot from our lesson today Always remember to protect our environment and do your best to be uh, a good change agent in our environment and even in the society and the nation at large. So thank you so much. Have a great day and always do your best. Do your best for your uh, assessments and always remember to make your parents proud. Have a great day, traditions. See you.